have demonstrated that you possess the patience, the astuteness, the perseverance, and the respect for life required to learn to control your unknown sense. Thank you, Master. Have you finished your chores for today? Yes, Master. Good. Because today you won't be capable of doing anything else. Prepare yourself. Forget you have eyes and open your unknown sense. Prepare yourself. I'll never be able to, to do it. Never doesn't exist. Patience, yes. This time you lasted one second longer. Prepare yourself. Henry! John! <gasps> really, sir? Not yet. First, you're going to make me immortal. Not on your life. Such rancor. And what about her? No! Ah! You have 20 minutes to prepare the potion. Half hour at most. Your sainted mother has brought everything a good alchemist could possibly need. Right, Doctor? Hm. Recognize this, John? I found it in Bratislava. Who knows how it got there? Yeah? Well, a simple carpenter's cup would have worked just as well. John, I... Thank you, John. So, John, tell me everything. Did you meet Napoleon, Nostradamus, Marilyn Monroe, Hitler? Oh, yes, Henry. Sherlock Holmes and Don Quixote. Mickey Mouse and I used to have dinner together every Wednesday night. Why were you pretending to be my mother? John, Henry made me do it. He threatened me. He invented this entire story to get you involved in the investigation. Who are you really? Who I say I am. Elaine yesterday. Is it true what you told me about... about your husband? Almost all of it. Frank was my thesis director, and I fell in love with him. He died at 84, three years ago, peacefully in his bed. Not in Cadway Station, like I told you. Henry invented that story and had me tell it to you. Are you really an expert on medieval sects? All the books and articles written by Frank and myself that you read were authentic. How did you get involved in all this? Henry hired me two years ago when he had only one clue, the symbol of the Y. I learned of its connection to the Order of the Flesh, the torture methods they employed. But that's it. A few months ago, Henry hired me again, but this time at gunpoint. I pretended to be your mother up until your fake suicide in Paris. And when you came back to life, I played the role again, as if nothing had happened. What do you get out of all this? I stay alive. If Pauline comes back to life, we'll all drink from this chalice. Yes, uh, right, Henry? Of course, Elaine. You know me, and you know that I'm not a tight one. I'm the American millionaire who dedicates the most money and time to charity. White Enterprises shares its patents with any NGO that wants to use them for the common good. I've created hospitals, schools, and community centers all over the country. You know me, and you know that I do whatever is necessary to get what I want. But you also know that when I have something, I share it. Helene, you can rest assured that when I become immortal, you will too. How long were you torturing me in that room? 
From the day we took you there, two years went by. But I missed out on the first month, thanks to you. That scar, does it hurt? Only when it's gonna rain. The doctors that Henry hired were the best. In less capable hands, I would have never made it. Did you enjoy torturing me? Yes. It made me feel good. Powerful. Dangerous. Fulfilled. Revenge is addictive. Did you ever feel guilty about it? One day, around a year after you got there, you'd passed out after I broke several of your ribs with the baseball bat. You woke up and asked, Do you know what your name is? I said, and I quote, My name is Samuel. Samuel Cooper. You said only this. You're lucky, Samuel. It was weeks before I tortured you again. What do you think Henry will do if the potion works? Will he let you drink it? Henry is my best friend. And well, isn't that right, Henry? I'm your only friend, Cooper. The only one. But do you know what? You're also my only friend. My life began at the same time yours did, in the university, the day we teamed up to kill Ralph Martinson. Nobody could understand how we got along so well. The hard-working weakling heir and the penniless jock, but what we had, and we have in common, nobody else shares. We're special, Cooper, you and I. How could I face immortality without you, Cooper? How many have you killed? <laughs> Not that many. Around 50. Well, twice that if I count you. Why did you kill Pauline's father? He didn't want to play ball. How did you get to Petit? It was your friend Boris in Cadway Station. He says he lived in Paris, Berlin, Moscow. What a shame. Look! Wax from the candles has dripped on the cake. I started monitoring the libraries in all of those cities. If anyone checked out a book on sects, Satanism, alchemy, the symbolism of the alphabet, the Inquisition, torture, I would hear about it. Our good man Petit was a voracious reader. Pauline told me that her father... He had spent the entire day with an American collector. They made some good deals. The man was going to pay us a lot of money. The man was going to pay us a lot of money. We were going to renovate the store, do some traveling. When I woke up the next morning, he... He had hanged himself. What really happened, Henry? To gain his trust, I told him that I wanted to have first option to buy all the antiques he found. But when I tried to get information about the order of the flesh out of him, he said that he had abandoned the investigation years ago without turning anything up. What did he tell you about his relationship with Choke? With you, you mean. It was you who set him on the trail of the Order of the Flesh. Probably thanks to some isolated flashback you had. But the flashbacks themselves made you crazy, unpredictable, egocentric, violent. You started to believe that you had lived in the time of the Inquisition, and you came to suspect that his daughter was a witch. Yes, John. You tried to kill your beloved Pauline. Aren't you happy to find out that we're not so different? What have you done to me, Henry? Everything imaginable. Can you be a little more specific? At first, you only burned vagrants. Why did you start torturing them, using the techniques of the Order of the Flesh? Because of you, John. When Doctor Yesterday connected your scar with the Order, and I saw the acts of torture they practiced. I mistakenly believed that behind them I'd find the secret of immortality. You made me what I am, John, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. What happened after the day that you shot me in the back and Boris escaped from the warehouse? The best period of my life. Imagine a boy with a cake you can never finish. A pervert with a girl who doesn't know how to keep her legs together. Or a psychopath with a victim that can be killed over and over again. But everything ends up getting old. I wanted to be like you and I started to investigate. 
How did it occur to you to hire me to investigate the Order of the Flesh? Your flashbacks were what did it. I realized that you sometimes remembered things from your previous lives. I used to love to electrocute you, for example. One time in ten, you'd remember earlier electrocutions. When Dr. Yesterday stopped progressing and Petit refused to help me, I thought that your ability to remember your own past would be the best tool for reconstructing it. And it's worked out that way. Marcel screwed it up by making me drink mercury. That improved my ability to remember. Just the opposite. If it weren't for that, we probably wouldn't be here today. Marcel was an excellent professional and a good friend. But make no mistake, I'm not reproaching you and the girl for killing him. I probably would have ended up killing him myself anyway. You've promised Cooper and Elaine that you'll share immortality with them. And I will. I'd like to remind you of a couple of things you said earlier. Since he was no longer useful to me and he knew too much, I had to have him liquidated. What good will Elaine be to you when you're immortal, Henry? Marcel was an excellent professional and a good friend. But make no mistake, I'm not reproaching you and the girl for killing him. I probably would have ended up killing him myself anyway. If you do this to all your friends, what's Cooper to think? Henry. Cooper. Huh? <laughs> Ugh! <laughs>